Uh, welcome again, this is Mr. Abdullahi. Uh, we are learning mathematics. Remember, we have been doing perimeter and area, and uh, just it's a, just a pickup or continuation of what we have been doing. Uh, there's a question here I would like us to do. Uh, here we say, from town X to town Y, balls are planted 25 kilometers apart. Balls are planted 25 kilometers apart. If the number of balls if the number of balls used are twenty-five are twenty-five, what what is the distance between the two towns? What is the distance what is the distance between the two towns. What is the distance between the two towns? Uh, you are told uh, from town X to town Y, balls are planted at uh, 25 meter apart. If the number of balls used are 25, what is the distance between the two towns? Uh, remember, we have been using uh, the other time they were asking the number of balls but now they gave us the number of balls what they want is the distance what is the distance so remember the formula was the number of balls we used to say number of balls is equals to distance over interval plus one when it's an open remember this is an open because it's a ball it's not a figure it's, it's not a figure so it is an open so now we have the number of balls let us go, go to the question so uh, they say 25 meter apart. This is the interval apart. And then they say the number of balls used are 25. So number of balls we have 25. So number of balls we have 25 is equal to distance. We don't know the distance because they're asking the distance. So distance we don't know d over interval. Interval is about 25 meter apart. So they say 25 kilometer. Uh, 25 uh, meter apart, 25 kilometer apart. So we write 25. Then now plus one. So we want to get this distance now. How do we get the distance now? We collect the like terms now. What will happen now? This one will move to the other side. It will migrate to the other side. So it will become 25 minus one. Remember it is plus. When it crosses to the other side, it will become minus is equal to 23 over 25 remains the way it is so we subtract now 25 minus 20 minus 1 is 24 is equal to distance we don't know out of 25 so what do we do now we want to get the d and remember this is alpha 1 so we multiply the denominator on both sides so times 25 times 25 cancel so D is equal to 25 times 24. We multiply 25 times 24, 20 carry 2, 10, 8, 9, 10, 10, 0 carry 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So we get 600 kilometer. That is the distance that we get. I am repeating. They said town X to town Y, balls are planted. There are some balls. 25 kilometer apart. Apart means interval, distance in between. If the number of balls used are 25, the number of balls are 25, what is the distance between the two towns? So they're asking the distance now. We use our formula was number of balls is equal to distance over interval plus one. Oh, ben, it's not a figure. So number of balls we have, because they said there are 25 balls there here. Yeah? is equal to distance, is what they are asking. We don't know distance over interval 25 meter apart, 25 apart. You see here? Then plus one. So we collect the like terms. Now this one has a letter and this one has no letter. What will happen now, the one will move to the other side in end of the 25. So if it is plus now, it will become minus. So when it crosses to the other side, it will become minus. So 25 minus one is equal to D over 25 is here remaining. So 25 minus 1 is 24, is equals to d alpha 25. We multiply this 25 on both sides, times 25, times 25, cancelled. d is equals to 25 times 4 is 600, 600 
kilometer, 600 kilometer. That's how we solve that question. So whenever you ask it, you use that uh, formula. Let us go to now uh, another question. Uh, in our textbook, page 92, there's a question here. They said a circular table has a circumference of 4.4 meter. A circular table A circular table has a circumference has a circumference of 4.4 meters. Uh, then they said, what is the radius? What is it is radius? What is it is radius? What is it is radius? Question mark. They're asking the radius. A circular table. A circular means a circle. It's a circle. This is a circle. Then they said has a circumference. So it has a circumference. Circumference is 4.4 meters. So they're asking the radius now. They're asking the radius. What is the radius? Remember radius. This line is called radius. So they're asking that line. How do we get now? Remember, uh, we used to say now to get in circumference, we say circumference is equal to by d. Circumference is equal to by d. So for easy way to get the radius, what we do, we make the by reciprocal. We make the by reciprocal, and they told us to take by 22 over 7. So remember, they said take by, take by 22 over 7. They said take by 22 over 7. Now. Let us get through now. So for easy way we make the by reciprocal. So we say now seven alpha twenty-two multiplied by four point four meters. Direct we multiply by two eleven by two 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 by eleven one by eleven zero point two. Remember yes decimal zero point two. So we multiply now seven times 0 0.2, you say 7 times 0 0.2, you get 1.4. So the radius is 1.4 meters. The radius is 1 point, no, diameter, sorry. So diameter, sorry, diameter is 1.4 meters. Then the radius will become now divided by 2. Radius, you say, for 1.4 divided by 2, you get 0 0.7 meters. That's how we get. So I'm repeating. You are given the circumference of the circle. Circumference means uh, perimeter. The whole of it is 4.4 meters. To get the radius, you first get the diameter. Then after getting the diameter, then you divide it by 2 to get the radius. So we say by D. We make the easy way, we make the by reciprocal. So reciprocal means upside down. So 7 over 22 times, direct you multiply the circumference times 4.4. So you say by 22, 1, by 22, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times 7, you get 1.4 meters. Remember, whenever you make the by reciprocal, whatever you get is the diameter. So to get the radius now, divide by 2, you get 0 0.7 uh, meters. You get 0 0.7 uh, meters. So that's how we solve that question. Let us move to another question. Yeah, you are told find the perimeter. You are told find the perimeter. Find the perimeter. Find the perimeter. Then they said 14 centimeter. Now, this one is called semicircle. This figure is called semicircle. Semi means half. So semicircle, the formula is now so perimeter, uh, perimeter is equal to a half by d plus d. Remember the line is full. So let's say it's 1.4, sorry. So a half by d plus d, whatever you do, what do you do now? Perimeter, you get the circumference of the semicircle plus the diameter. That's how we get perimeter, the circumference plus the diameter. That's why we say a half by d plus d. So circumference is a half by d. Then perimeter you add plus d. So, let, so we say a half, we follow the formula, by times 22 over 7 times by 1.4 centimeter 
plus D 1.4. Remember the line is full. When it is full, we add plus D centimeter. By 2, 1. By 2, 11. By 7, 1. By 7, 0 0.2. Then we multiply now. 11 times 2, you get 22. Then decimal now. Plus, we add this line. This line is full. It's not dotted. Plus 1.4. Plus 1.4. So centimeter, centimeter. You get 6.3. So 3.6 centimeter. That's how we get the perimeter of that figure. So we are told find the perimeter. Semicircle, the line is not dotted. It's a half by D plus D. But when it is dotted like this, when it is dotted like this, the formula is a half by D only. The answer will have been 2.2 because the line is dotted. But now the line is not dotted. We say a half by D plus D. A half times 2 alpha 7 times 0 times 1.4 diameter plus 1.4. By 2, 1. By 2, 11. By 7, 1. By 7, 0 0.2. When you multiply, you get 2.2 plus 1.4. You get 3.6. We go to another question. We go to another question. This, this one, you are told find the perimeter. Find the perimeter. Then they say this one. They say that. Then they say here it's 0 0.7 centimeter. 0 0.7 centimeter. Then they say 1.4 centimeter. They say to find the perimeter now. Here we have two figures. We have the same circle. And we have the quarter circle. Here in a quarter, this one is a quarter circle. It's called a quarter circle. This one is a quarter circle. So we have the, uh, now what we do now, we get the, the perimeter of the same circle and we get the perimeter of the quarter circle. Let us get the perimeter of the same circle. Same circle, let us get it. A half by D plus D, this one. So, because the line is not dotted, it's full. If it, if it is dotted, we ignore this one. So a half times 22 alpha 7, like this one, times 1.4 centimeter plus 1.4 centimeter. By 2, 1, by 2, 11. By 7, 1, by 7, 0 0.2. So when you multiply and you add this one in short, you have already done, uh, we already did it. So you get 3.6 centimeter. Because the question resembles this one. So what is remaining is the quarter circle. So this was the same circle now, 1.4. What is remaining is the quarter circle now. So here is 0 0.7 centimeter, 0 0.7 centimeter. So the perimeter of a quarter circle is equals to a quarter by D plus D. And remember, this one line is called radius. This one is radius, and this one is also called radius. So radius, radius. Now we say a quarter time is 22 alpha 7, a quarter by D. So since this one is radius and this one is radius diameter, what we do? We add. Remember the other one I said the other day, radius plus radius will give you diameter. Radius plus radius diameter. Now let's get the diameter. So we say 0 0.7 plus uh, 0 0.7. So you get 1.4. You get 1.4 centimeter. That's the diameter. Now this is the diameter. So time is 1.4 centimeter plus D here, 1.4 centimeter. Because the lines are not dotted. If they are dotted, you only remain with uh, up to 1.4 centimeter. You don't add plus D. So by 2, 2, by 2, 11, by 7, 1, by 7, 0 0.2, by 2, 1, by 2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So now you multiply. 11 times 0 0.1, you get 1.1. Uh, plus, now we add plus diameter, 1.4. So you get 5.2 centimeter. This one is now the quarter circle. What we do now, we add the semicircle and the quarter circle now. Let us add now. So. 3.6 centimeter plus 2.5 centimeter. So 11 carry 1, 5 plus 1, uh, 6. So you get uh, 6.1 centimeter. 
that's how we get. I said you get the perimeter of the same circle a half by d plus d. A half times 22 over 7 times 1.4 times plus 1.4. If it is noted, you don't add plus 1.4. So you get by 2, 1, you get 3.6. A quarter circle now. This line is radius and this one is radius. So get the diameter. 0 0.7 there at 0 0.7 is 1.4. So the formula is a quarter by d plus d. So 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 is 1.4. So a quarter by d plus d. A quarter times 22 over 7 times diameter 1.4 plus d 1.4. By 2, 2, by 2, 11. By 7, 1, by 7, 0 0.2. By 2, 1, by 2, 0 0.1. You get, when you multiply 11 times 0 0.1, you get 1.1 plus diameter 2.5. So quarter circle is 2.5, same circle is 3.6, you add, you get 6.1. That's how we solve that equation. You have another one here. You are told find the perimeter. Find the perimeter. Find the perimeter. And they say this way. So 2.1 centimeter, 4.2 centimeter, and then uh, 0 0.7 centimeter. You are told to get the perimeter. Remember, we have three figures here, and all of them they are semicircle. This one is a semicircle. This one is a semicircle. This one is a semicircle in half. So let us get the perimeter of the first one. This one, 2.1 centimeter, a half by d plus d. So a half times 22 over 7 times 2.1 centimeter plus 2.1 centimeter. A half by D, a half by D plus D. So what we do now, we divide by 2, 1, by 2, 11, by 7, 1, by 7, 0 0.3. So 11 times 0 0.3, you get 3.3 .3 plus 2.1 you get 4.5, 5.4 centimeter. So we are remaining with the bigger one now, this one, 4.2 centimeter. So you say a half times 22 over 7 times 4.2 centimeter plus 4.2 centimeter. So mine is not a dot head. So by 2, 1, by 2, 11. By 7, 1, by 7, 0 0.6. When you multiply 11 times 0 0.6, you will get 6.6 .6 centimeter plus 4.2 centimeter plus 4.2 centimeter, 8.10. So centi centimeter. What is remaining is a smaller one, this one, 0 0.7 centimeter. So a half times 22 over 7 times 0 0.7 centimeter plus 0 0.7 centimeter, half by d plus d. By 2, 1, by 2, 11. By 7, 1, by 7, 0 0.1. 11 times 0 0.1, you get 1.1. .1. Plus diameter 0 0.7. Uh, so you get 8.1 centimeter. So these are the answers. Now we add all of them. We add all of them. So we say 5.4 centimeter plus 10.8 centimeter point point in one line. 10.8 centimeter plus 1.8 centimeter. So we add 8 plus 8, 16, 16 plus 4 uh, is 20. 0 carry 2. 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 1 uh, is 8. So you get here uh, 1. So it is 1.8. So we are repeating. So you say a half by d plus d. So you get by 22 over 7 times 2.1 plus 2.1. You get 3.3. 3.3 plus 2.1, you get uh, 4, 5.4. This one now a half times 22 over 7 times 4.2 plus 4.2 by 2, 1 by 2, 11 by 7 by 7, 0 0.6. So 6.6 .6 plus 4.2, you get 8, then 10, 10.8. This one now, a half times 22 over 7 times 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 by 2, 1 by 2, 11. By 7, 1 by 7, 0 0.1. So 
11, 1.1 plus 0 0.7. You get 8, you get 1, 1.8. 4 plus 1.8, you get all of 2 carry 1, uh, 6 plus 1, 7.2 plus uh, 10.8 plus 10.8 plus 10.8. You get uh, 10 carry 1.81 centimeter. That's how we get that figure. Uh, there is also uh, another question here, also another question here, uh, you are told uh, find the perimeter of the track, find the perimeter of the track, find the perimeter of the track, this is the figure. Then here you are given uh, 7 meters, here you are given 10 meters. Then you are told find the perimeter of the track. There is someone who ran around the field, then you are told find the perimeter he covered. So what we do, you get the semicircle of this one, then times 2, the two ends are semicircles. So we say a half times 22 over 7, times 7 meters, a half by D. We don't add the velocity, it's a combined figure. So by 2, 1, by 2, 11. By 7, 1, by 7, 1, you get 11 meters. So now we have this one also. We say times 2 because the two ends. Here it's 7, here it's also 7 meters. So times 2 now. 2, 2. So you get 22 meters. We have not finished the question. There is a rectangle here. I said the other day. So if here is 100, how about 100? Here is also, if here is 10, sorry. Here is 10, here is also 10 meters. How about 10? How about 10? So we add. So we say 10 meters plus 10 meters. So you get uh, 20 meters. We add now 22 meters plus 20 meters. You get 42 meters. Then now someone will tell you the distance the person has covered if he ran around the figure five times. So if you are told he ran around the figure, if someone ran around the figure five times, you say 42 times five. So he ran around the figure five, 10 carry one, 20, 21. So that will have been the distance he has covered. So whenever you are told uh, that this, uh, if the person ran around the field five times, you multiply times five, around the field twice, times two, around the field thrice, uh, times three. So those are some of the questions. There are some questions also below uh, the, the video. So please go through those questions and then send them for verification. Uh, with those few remarks, I wish you all the best. Goodbye.